move up. And it looks like you're once again at war with Austria. Austria wants to take back some territory. I'm going to get negative 40%. Pretty bad for you. Okay, we're taking a negative 3 penalty, which is not good. A white piece. No, I'm not white piecing. We're now bankrupt again! <laughs> oh. The funny campaign. Funny. Ha ha. I just want to take... Once again, open and subsidize all factories. I just want to take over, like, one province. Okay? Is that so much to ask? Okay, so we, we've at least have won the war. And have taken over... Um, Bosnia once again. So, I mean, that's something. Subsidize all factories. Hi, Russia. Th thank you, Russia, for helping me out in this time of great peril. I mean, I, d I do honestly appreciate it. And Russia has taken over a little bit of land from the Austrians. Okay, so you know what? That's That's okay. It just means that in a few more years, in like five years, we can attack Austria. Assuming that you never go into the German sphere, because you go into the German sphere, we're fucked. Like, it's going to be really bad. But if we can get Austria to eventually give up... Um, what city was it again? I don't even remember. Zagreb. Yeah, we just need this city, right? Which, funny enough, we actually don't get a core on. But we just need to take over Horvat. And then we will be in the greatest position you've ever seen any country on Earth. <clears throat> but, I mean, we won the war. What I'm hoping for is that in... Now it's time for, I guess, military attack. And let's see if we can actually just, like, fabricate... We can't do it because we have a truce with you. Fair enough. Can Siri make a comeback? Uh, we'll see. We will see. I lean towards... May maybe? Again, what I'm, what I'm hoping for is that the 1878 um, event that will basically, I think, almost always fires in this mod will grant us a lot of territory in the Ottoman Empire as the European powers want to break up the Ottoman control in the Balkans. Which will then hopefully give me more territory, and more importantly than that, uh, make sure that the Ottomans don't have cores over our land anymore. That's kind of what... kind of what we're banking on right now. Of course, we need um, money to get all this stuff working, which we don't really have. We're just very poor. How much money did we owe? We owed. We only owe. We went bankrupt because we owed four thousand dollars. That's so hilariously awful. Are the Ottomans at war with Russia again? They are at war with Russia again. No, why would it give me military access? Think, think for a second before you do that. Okay, the Great Eastern Crisis. Yeah, Russia, Russia needs to win this war, and then we will be free. Free the Balkans. Do it, uh, Russia. Please, I beg of you. Oh, actually, Russians are actually not at war with Austria. They're only at war with Romania, which I think is kind of funny. And you are a about a 50%. You're all doing some weird, wacky shenanigans over there. But you're right, you're hostile with everybody now. So that means nobody's actually be coming to the defense of the Ottoman Empire, which is the greatest news I think I've ever heard in my entire life. 
The Ottomans will then get steamrolled by the Russians and um, all their allies. And the Dutch, of course. You can't forget about the Dutch. Okay. And you know what? We, we do need to upgrade our military to not be hot garbage. Oh, Look at Tani Moldova. Very, very cute. The cutest Moldova I think I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm hoping that we at least get, like, two territories out of this. And then we can focus our attention just on the Austrian. Who's currently dealing with a little bit of a rebel problem. Because you're still allied. You're actually not allied with France anymore. You're actually allied with nobody. We can, we'll give Moldova a tiny pet. Pet, pet. There we go. Yeah, the fact that actually Austria is not allies to the French anymore makes our life a lot easier. Because it means maybe we can uh, make something happen. Did you guys free the Balkans? You did free the Balkans. Which we gotta wait for the other European powers to be like, hey, how do we want to proceed with this uh, event? You want to keep the Ottoman Empire strong. Well, you are smelly and I hate you. We at least got one province, but, you know, that's not... Who the hell are you? East Rumelia? Okay. Okay, so we didn't get all the territory we wanted. However, us, the Ottomans don't have any cores on us. Which means that we're safe from Ottoman retaliation for the time being. For the time being. But I would like to kill Austria. There's now a crisis underway in Russian territory. Who's going to back who? You want to back Russia. You want to back Russia. You want to back the UK. Uh, not good at all. In fact, it's actually really bad that Germany wants to back the U UK here. Okay, choose a trade policy. Just be a little flexible for now. Moldova, yeah, we'll have an alliance with you. Of course. Why would you never want... Why would you not want an alliance with them, right? They have 27 troops. Our truce lasts until 79. That's actually not that long. You're backing the Ottomans. Or you're backing Russia, I should say. Actually, no. You're, this is actually about the liberation of Poland. It's actually not about giving Austria back territory. It's about... You know what, Greece, we can have an alliance as well. It's actually about give, making Poland an independent state. Still want to support you because you're allied to the UK. Let's encourage nationalistic violence. Maybe we'll get some more territory out of that. We're still poor. We're still poor, which is not good. But it could be worse. Could be worse. The Greater Slavic Union. Yeah. We're now Yugoslavia. <laughs> there we go. We love to see it. Oh, my neighbor got incorporated as well. The end of Yugoslavia. No, I don't want to do that. Well, we've somehow formed Yugoslavia. I, I don't know how we did it, but we've done it. Which means we got a lot of cores over the Austrians and against the Ottomans. This is Yugoslavia at peak performance, by the way. It doesn't get any better than this. Cut military spending, by the way. Like, why are we spending our, mil our money on our military on? We're not going to go to war anytime soon. So we got a Russian, Dutch, French war against the Germans and the British, which means that, um... 
Germany is going to steamroll Russia and France and the Dutch. And it's going to put us in a very weird position. By the way, Germany, let's be allies. I want to be your friend, so you will help me take over all my cores in the Austrian Empire. And then after that, I'll be like such a fantastic ally for you. It's going to be... You, you're going to go insane. Wait, why is the war already over? Wait, how, how, how's the war already over? I don't know. The war immediately ended. Okay, then. Well, who knows? I don't know. Okay, uh, we, I guess it, where does it matter we have tensions now, then, right? You're allied to the Dutch? No, you're not. You're not allied to anybody. Okay, 0.15 is not enough to beat this rating. Southern Serbia. You know what? Let's... Okay, world tension is now generating in Southern Serbia. Panama is now ruled by uh, the bourgeoisie. Full, full dictatorship mode. And again, we're going to keep on making our army... Not garbage. Because we can have up to uh, tech 20. The fact that some people are, are barely halfway there speaks volumes. Again, you're not allied to anyone. Our truce with you expires in... 79. So we got two years. And I think we just fight the Austrians and I take all their land. To me, that seems like the best course of action here. I have no idea how we managed to make such a uh, such a turnaround in this campaign. That's a focus word location. Base decay is going down. But I mean, overall, we're, we're going to get what we want. Also, Cyprus now exists. Congratulations to Cyprus. Yeah, like two years from now? Two years we fight the Austrians and we'll, we'll look golden? It's what we want to see. Organization size goes up. Where is that in Mal is in Guyana? How would what what can you really even do in Guyana? No, Guyana is over here. Why? Well, actually, they would be over here. I don't think they actually exist right now. But that's okay. The Krakow, they still exist. Are they an absolute monarchy? I don't know what they've done. They're just a civilized nation. I mean, congratulations on Krakow for being alive. That, that's one thing they've got going for them. Okay, let's increase these things as much as we possibly can. If we can end up actually becoming a great power by the end of this campaign, I will be stunned. Like, it'd make no sense whatsoever. And again, like, a year and a half. A year and a half and a war against the Austrians. We take everything we could possibly ever desire and we'll be... We'll be amazing. We're so good. Okay, the tension's rising over here. But again, our justification against the Ottomans is going to make that go a little bit faster. And like, I'm so proud. How do you not have any allies? I mean, all of your neighbors, I think, hate you. Eh, you're like plus 13 there. We're at plus 15 with the Germans as well. I wouldn't mind getting more infantry divisions for our uh, army here. That'll be nice for us. But hey, Italy... Me, you, and Austria, me, me, you, and Russia, we do, like, one good war. I mean, by the way, how expensive is the all cores? It's 100, right? 92? Yeah, like, I'm not surprised. Like, there's a lot of cores we have there. Okay, in April. One year. One year. 
All you need to make or break a Yugoslav. Moldova's at war with Romania. Why would I? Add? No, of course, I have no reason to back you in that war. Romania will annex you. And we will not care in the slightest. Romania, do you want to be friends? Again, we have strategic interests to go to war with the Austrians. Me, you, and Russia, we, we, we all hate the Austrians together. I think we should be friends. Okay, we've got a new party, the Communist Party. Let's not worry about them. Great powers are at war. Because you're at war with the Zulu, that means that we can't just fight a war fast enough. Okay. Whatever you say. I back in the Ottomans. They are... Who are they friendly with? Nobody. And our war with, our war with you lasts until 1880, so it's going to be a little bit longer. But not as long. Romania will annex Moldova in just a moment. Reincorporating that back into the country. What's everybody else doing? United States is... Uh, they're doing this? Okay. What the hell are these cores? What's going What's going on with them? I don't know. We'll, we'll ignore what Mexico's uh, up to right now, because it, it makes me sad. And we're gonna like a pretty nice army. You know, not too bad. I wish I could like tell Russia, like, hey, by the way, we're about to go to war with the Austrians soon. So you better be prepared for that. So how many troops they got? They got 42 divisions. That's garbage. I have I have 11. But I'm also very tiny Yugoslavia. I'm like a little baby. Austria Hungary is like this big great power. You know, centuries old empire. Come on now. Tensions are increasing. The rush for Africa is going to begin soon. And we'll see how this goes. I mean, you're all hostile towards the Ottomans. Except for Japan, I guess. So I would imagine that most countries would kind of stay out of it. That would at least be my guess. Life rate has gone down. Doesn't affect us. I mean, I guess we do theoretically have a port. We could take over, like, uh, Libya. But I don't know how that would benefit us other than it being kind of like a meme. The Italian Navy is making some maneuvers. You're actually allied now with the Germans. So Austria... Once this truce expires in May of this year, well, you just go. You should just go to war. Yeah, it's like I'm saying. You should just go to war with them immediately. Question is, do I call Russia to try to take all my cores? They won't even accept to call the arms. Okay, well, that's less good. Really? You won't accept the call to arms? Why not? What if I just acquire, like, one core? You will not accept. You don't have a truce with them, so I'm not, I'm not too sure really what your big hang-up here is. Germany and Italy are going to smash them into pieces in a moment. By the way, Austria, what is your military tech at? You are on tech 13. Germany is on tech 17. Russia is on tech 13. Even Greece won't even accept the call to arms. And you don't want to say yes either. Oh, their war's already over. Well, that didn't last very long. I think you could have you could have taken both provinces, just so you know. That easily could have happened. 
But I want the Germans to like us, so they're more likely, hopefully, to back us. We got 100% uh, roll tension here. I'm not too sure how we actually get these to fire. Why do you have 24% tension? The Bosnian Liberation Movement. Uh, Bosnia? Do we not have, what, what's your extended cultures? Kuwait, Slovene, Serbian, Montenegrin. Are you not, I mean you're mostly Serbian. A lot of Bosniak. Suppress the Bosnians for now. At least for the moment. Still won't accept, huh? Like, why not? I feel like it'd be a pretty easy war for us to win. And you're now... I don't know really, Afghanistan always want to take Kerman. They always want to take like, the southern province. That makes their borders look awful. We could commission a warship, but it's going to cost $50,000. Uh, which is not cheap. At all. And again, Greece, you also have claims to the Ottoman